They say the proof of the pudding is in the tasting, and when it comes to smartphone video, the best we can do to test the capabilities of the kit and of the philosophy to a certain extent is to go out and shoot something. Remember, smartphone video is meant to be mobile. It should be lightweight, discreet and also cheap. And above all, it should be capable of quality that's good enough to tell a story. In the case of a breaking news story, a journalist can research, shoot, edit and upload a report within minutes, all from a smartphone or a tablet. We've come to London, to the South Bank, where the skate park's become something of a Stonehenge for skaters all over the world. But some recent proposals by the local council to redevelop the park mean that these skaters could be without their community centre. The local council, Lambeth Council, is proposing to redevelop this site. Um, what do you think of those proposals? You know, in the skateboard community, this is a cultural kind of centre that has history that's important to them. Um, and I think to take that away from them is just like, you know, if, if maybe someone was going to come along and, and, and tear down, you know, like some, some old building here and put, we're going to, you know, don't worry about it, like, you know, we're, we're going to build you something brand new and it's going to be even better, right? But, but what about the history, right? So. Another thing about the skate park here is that it was kind of claimed by the people. It wasn't originally intended to be a skate park. And yeah. wouldn't removing this, the heart of this from here, building a dedicated skate park somewhere else, kind of remove something of the essence of this? Absolutely. I think that that's what makes this place so interesting, is that it wasn't designed as a skate park. And, and that gives it a, a kind of very particular kind of interest in a cultural sense. You know? As for apps, the stock video apps on most smartphones are functional but basic. On iOS, the go-to app for smartphone filmmakers is Filmic Pro, probably as close to a pro video camera as you're likely to get on a smartphone, letting you tinker with everything from frame rate and capture resolution to audio quality and image stabilization. On iOS, there are lots of fully featured video editing apps to help you cut and combine your clips into a coherent film. Apple's iMovie works on both iPhone and iPad and comes complete with templates to customize your look. For its raw editing capabilities, Pinnacle Studio for iPad, and now for iPhone, is the most powerful editing app we've used, promising big screen movie making on the iOS touchscreen. Now this sort of kit's unlikely to trouble Hollywood filmmakers or high-end TV dramas, but for telling a story, be it an indie film or a news report or even a family day out, you might be really surprised at the high-definition output you can get from a phone, an app and a few accessories.